Hello, I come up with another exciting historical event. This is the history of measurement of the Earth's circumference. Another easy but amazing ideas will be shown in this video. Do you know who was the hero of this event? If you don't know the event, watch this videos till the end. The hero of this event was a Greek mathematician and astronomer. He was the chief librarian at the Library of Alexandria. His name is Eratosthenes of Cyrene. He heard about a famous well, situated at Syene, in Egypt. Each year, there was a day when sun was just directly overhead on this well. Because no shadows were shown of this well at that day of the year but at the same day, in Alexandria, he found that if he shoved a stick on the ground, he had seen the shadows of that stick. When, Eratosthenes observed this event, his mathematical mind got an exciting idea. He thought that, as sun rays falls in parallel to the surface of the earth, and therefore, well of Syene and sun rays were in line so there was no shadows. But for the shove stick of Alexandria, the sun rays and stick was not in line. That's why a shadow was created with this angle. We also know, if we draw any straight line from our feet and continuously increase that line, then, we can meet in the center of the earth from anywhere of the world. So, Eratosthenes said that this angle of the shadows was equal to the angle of earth radius from well of the Syene to this stick of Alexandria. We know it from the alternate in interior angle theorem. I hope you know this theorem. But, if you don't know or forget, I will describe and give you an easy and quick proof now. The theorem is, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Here is two parallel lines A and B. These are cut by a transversal C. Now we have to prove that angle A and angle C is congruent. Let's start. Here angle A and angle B are equal. As they are vertically opposite angle. And C and D are equal. And from corresponding angles theorem, we can say angle B equal angle C and angle R equal angle D. That's why angle R equal angle C. Similarly here, sun rays are the parallel arm which is cut by earth surface and the shadow angle and earth radius angle are the alternate interior angles. That's why these angles are equal. However, Erastosthenes measured the angle and it was 1 50th of a full circle. And the distance between well of Syene and this was 5000 stadia. So if the radius angle 1 50th of circle increased, for the 5000 stadia away from sun, then full circle of radius angle will be 5000 into 50 equal 250,000 stadia. One stadion equal 157.5 meter. So, 250,000 into 157.5 equal 39,375 kilometer. A simple but amazing measurement. And this measurement is so close to the actual value. A brilliant observational mind can do that. And indeed he was. Okay, this is the end of this video. Bye bye.